Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on Romanian jet aircraft that have been developed for the Romanian Air Force since the mid-1970s. Now, Romania has been using jet aircraft of all types since the 1950s. In fact, Romania in the Cold War era was part of the Warsaw Pact Union with the Soviet Union, so they received a large number of Soviet warplanes like the Megoyan Godevich MiG-15 and MiG-17. But in the mid-1970s, the Romanians decided to develop their own separate jet aircraft from the ones they were already receiving from the Soviet Union. And that brings us to the first aircraft on the list, the IAR-93 Voltor, or Vulture, also known as the Hulk. It's a Romanian multi-rolled jet-powered attack and reconnaissance aircraft that was developed by the Avione Craiova aircraft manufacturing company between 1971 and 1974 and entering service in the same year of 1974. Now this was a Romanian designed jet aircraft or multi-rolled ground attack aircraft that also doubled as a reconnaissance aircraft and low-flying interceptor aircraft. She was a subsonic warplane and was designed as a replacement for the old MiG-15 and MiG-17 series of aircraft that were purchased from the Soviet Union by Romania. Now, despite being a Romanian plane, her engines were actually based on a Yugoslav copy of a British engine. The British-made Rolls-Royce Viper MK633-47 afterburning turbojet engines, which Yugoslavia managed to purchase from the British as Yugoslavia was a communist country or a socialist country that was trying to distance itself from the USSR and became more of a independent socialist country that traded both with the Soviet Union and the West. So the Yugoslavs managed to get their hands on some British designed afterburning turbojet engines and they would later sell this technology to the Romanians also. Now Romania was part of the Warsaw Pact Alliance and they too also purchased a number of western designed weapon systems for reverse engineering to manufacture in their own country. Now this aircraft here was the most produced of the Romanian made aircraft. In fact some 88 of these IAR-93 Voltors were made between 1974 and the early 1990s and they stayed in service until 1998 before they were decommissioned and replaced with the next plane on the list. The main armament of these aircraft were two 23mm GSH-23 aircraft auto cannons. These were Soviet cannons, which allowed them to carry a variety of different Romanian and Soviet designed air-to-ground rockets and air-to-air -air missiles like the LPR-122, the LPR-57, the PRN-80, and air-to-air -air missiles like the K-13, also known as the A-91, and the R-60. She also carried a number of surface-to-surface -surface missiles like the KH-23 Groom and the AGM-65 Maverick. She also had hard points that allowed her to carry a number of different models of basic aerial bombs like the BM-500, the BEM-250, the BE-100, and the BL-755 cluster bombs. The aircraft overall weighed about 8,400 kilograms or 18,500 pounds and she had a maximum speed of 1,086 kilometers per hour or 675 miles per hour. Her maximum combat range was only 330 miles or 530 kilometers and she had a maximum Maximum combat ceiling of 13,600 meters or 44,600 feet. Again, only 88 of these were manufactured, but they were only used by the Romanian Air Force. The Romanians were hoping to export these warplanes, but they never found a buyer. Instead, what happened was Yugoslavia decided to reverse engineer this aircraft for their own Air Force. And the Yugoslav copy of this warplane is known as the Soko J-22 Orio, which entered service also in the mid to late 1970s for the Yugoslav Air Force. In the late 1970s through early 1980s, the Romanians even attempted to develop their own multi-purpose fighter aircraft. 
and the first one of those was the IAR-95 Spade. The Spade was Romania's attempt to enter the third and fourth generation of fighter aircraft that were being developed mostly by the Soviet Union, the US, and countries like Britain and Sweden, and also China to an extent. So Romania came up with this, the Ivone Craiova manufacturing plant came up with this design in the late 1970s, just after the production of the IAR-93 Voltor entered production in 1974. Now this aircraft here, only one mock-up of this plane was ever made. The aircraft never made it past the prototype stage or the concept stage. Now the project was meant to be a joint project between Romania and Yugoslavia with some technical help from the Soviet Union. As the Soviet Union was to supply Romania with the main power plant or engine for this warplane, the Soviet-made Tumansky R-29-300 after burning turbojet engine. But Yugoslavia rejected the offer because they were working on their own 4th gen or early 4th gen warplane for their own air force. So the project was canceled around 1987-1988 after Romania has spent about 10 years working on the project. If the project had been completed, it would have been the most advanced warplane in the Romanian Air Force with the exception of the MiG-21s that were in service with the Romanian Air Force at the time. The aircraft's main armament was supposed to be one or two 23mm GSH-23 aircraft autocannons and she was supposed to be able to carry at least a one or two thousand pounds worth of bombs and missiles. The aircraft weight would have been 7,880 kilograms or 17,373 pounds and the aircraft speed was supposed to be 1,500 kilometers per hour or 930, no 1,500 kilometers an hour or 930 miles per hour or a Mach 2. Again, the project was canceled after Yugoslavia rejected the joint venture of this project and the, the project ended formally in 1988, thus ending the potential of Romania entering the fourth generation of a fighter aircraft with the IRA-95 Spey. Romania's next aircraft or the Ivone Craiova's next aircraft was a multi-purpose jet trainer and ground attack aircraft this time developed in the mid-1980s, and that was the IAR-99 Soim, or Hulk, as it is known in English. This is a Romanian multi-rolled jet-based ground attack aircraft, trainer aircraft, and light reconnaissance aircraft from 1985. The main armament of this plane is one 23mm GSH-23 aircraft autocannon. She also has multiple hardpoints, which allows her to fire air-to-ground rockets like the LPR-57, and she also has multiple hardpoints for her to fire, which allow her to fire air-to-air -air missiles like the K-13, A-91, or the R-60, and also the Python AAM and the R-550 Magic. She can also carry at least four bombs, either the BM-500, the BEM-250, or the BE-100, and she can also carry laser-guided bombs like the offer infrared guided bombs that are also manufactured for Romania. The aircraft's weight is just 3,200 kilograms or 7,500 pounds and she has a maximum speed of just 865 kilometers per hour or 537 miles per hour or Mach 0 0.76. The aircraft's maximum combat range is 1,100 kilometers or 680 miles and she has a maximum combat ceiling of 12,900 meters or 42,300 feet. So far, only 28 of these aircraft have been manufactured since 1985, and they are currently serving in the Romanian Air Force as both ground attack and training aircraft. This aircraft isn't as successful as the IAR-93, but at least the Romanians are, were still manufacturing their own planes in the later era of the Cold War. This aircraft, too, is also powered by a copy of the British Rolls-Royce Viper MK632-41M turbojet engine, this time manufactured by the Romanian company, the Turbo Mechanisa, which is a Romanian engine 
in an aircraft component manufacturing plant in Romania. Now the IAR-99 Soim actually produced a spin-off plane known as the IAR-109 Swift. The 109 Swift was a joint project between Romania and Israel, the Israeli IAI Lahav aircraft manufacturing plant or aircraft component manufacturing plant based in Israel. This project started in 1992 and only one aircraft was produced for the Paris Air Show which occurred in the year of 1993. The IAR 109 Swift was basically an upgrade to the older Model 99 Soyuz, and it featured a number of Israeli upgrades. For example, the Hotas or hand on throttle stick controls, and she also had a wide angle hood or heads up display. She also had a new inertia navigation system or INS. This was Romania's attempt to upgrade the old IAR-99 Soyuz for the export market as the Romanians were hoping to get buyers for the IAR-109 Swift. After 1993, there was only one more air show, the Asian Aerospace Show in 1994. The project was canceled in 1994 as only one country, Botswana, was interested in buying at least 10 of the IAR-109 Swifts from Romania or Israel. But this deal never went through and the project was canceled in the mid to late 1990s. But the single prototype still exists in the Romanian Air Force today. And finally, in the year 2015, the Ivone Craiova manufacturing company began developing a new update or upgraded version of the IAR-99 Soyuz known as the IAR-99TD, also known as the Technology Demonstrator. This again is a joint project between Romania and Israel, this time the Israeli Elbit System International Electronics and Defense Company. The new version of the IAR-99 will feature many yet-to-be-seen upgrades produced in Israel this time for the Romanian Air Force. It will basically have the same basic characteristics in terms of weight, speed, and weapons of the older model IAR-99 Soim, but with some new avionics and a redesigned fuselage along with some new avionics and radar systems. But as of 2022, this new prototype has not yet been tested as it is still in the prototype stage. So that's basically it for now in terms of aircraft that have been manufactured or that is currently being manufactured for the Romanian Air Force. There is one more concept aircraft that was developed or at least designed by the Ivone Craiova manufacturing company starting in 2012. And this is a concept or a proposed aircraft design for a proposed stealth ground attack aircraft or subsonic ground attack aircraft that has been dubbed the IAR-112. The IAR-112 is just a series of concept art that have appeared on the website of the Ivone Craiova uh, company. Several concepts have been posted over the last decade but none of these planes have ever made it to the prototype stage or have ever made it past the drawing board or concept stage. And that's basically it. If I had to choose my favorite of these, I would say the IAR-93 Voltor and the last one, the joint Romanian-Israeli IAR-99 TD are probably the coolest ones of the Romanian jets that I've seen so far. But the IAR-112, if it does make it past the concept stage, would be the most advanced Romanian warplane ever developed based on just the concept art I've seen so far. So which of these do you think were the best? What do you think of these Romanian-made jet aircraft, most of which are subsonic? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.